Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly draw some flowers and in particular, they're going to be roses. So what I just did, I actually just got finished using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold, what is it called? Remastered palette. Um, this is my first time using any Huda products. Uh, they actually worked really nice. They blended well. The little highlighters and the melted metals, those are really nice as well. So I'll probably do a little review on some of her palettes. I have three right now that I borrowed from a friend. So I'll probably do a little review soon for those. But I thought while I just did this look here, so this is the finished look. My idea for this was I already filmed this little tutorial for Instagram, but I wanted to draw some of the roses that I see here. I kind of want to draw them on the side in my face and then use a little bit of this gold foil from the dollar store to put right on the tips, right? Like what I see here in her palette, well, on the cover of her palette. I feel like I'm talking really fast today, but I do tend to talk actually kind of fast. I have an hour, so let's see guys, can I get these flowers on my face in an hour? So what my plan is, I'm gonna show you the basics of how to draw down a rose. It's fairly easy, and then I do have, um, to make it go by a little bit quicker for myself, I'm gonna use, I have this skull, stencil. So I'm going to use, see right in the middle, there's roses. I'm going to stencil those small ones around the larger ones. So I'll show you how to make a larger rose. And then I'm going to stencil the smaller ones just to speed up the time. But once you get like down pack of one rose, you'll be able to fly through and make any type of rose you want. So I'm going to start with the lighter pink. What I'm using right now is a pink body paint. This is the Wolf Art body paint. And I'm going to mix this. So I think personally for me, the key with any type of flower is you want to start with the lightest shade as possible. And then we're going to go on with eyeshadows or you could just build up with your paints and then we start to do shading. So at first it's just going to look like a big blob on your face until we go on and we do all of our fine little details. So see the difference here? This was the pink that we started off with, but I mixed it because I want a lighter pink. It's always easier to build up rather than starting dark and then trying to bring it down. Just just much easier and faster to start off later. So there's like one little fold here and this doesn't have to be perfect and you can do it any any shape you want because we'll fix it after. So I'm kind of I'm just going back and forth mixing into mixing into the pink and to the white so that's why some of it looks a little bit whiter it's just kind of what's happening right now. See, and now I'm getting close to the end petals. So these ones make sure you kind of like make little humps on them, a couple here and there, maybe like two or three, just so it looks more of like the actual um, edge of the petal. So I'm okay with that right here. This is gonna be the size of my rose. So just like that. There we go. So see, as you can see right now, it looks like nothing. It doesn't even look good, but I'm gonna go in and do some shading. So now I'm gonna go in with the dark pink and this is when I'm gonna start to do some of the outlines here. And you can even, if it's not dark enough, just go in with some red too, mix those two colors together and then that will be our outline color. There, so it's like a darker rosy pink right there. Go in. And those little petals that you made, we kind of need to go back in and outline them. Kind of just about, like almost like you're just kind of making little squiggles here at this point. And as you can see, it's already starting to look more like a rose. Let's keep going with stuff. I know a couple times I give up on my paints, but I can tell it's just not gonna work out. But majority of the time, Every time I do a paint, like right in the beginning, the first hour, it does not look good at all. And any person you talk to, they would tell you the same thing. So these roses are not gonna take us an hour to do though. But if it's looking like right in the beginning, how it looked like a blob, if you know, you're kind of scared, oh, it doesn't look like a rose, just keep going with it because you need to do some shading and put the outlines. And then I promise you, it'll look more like a rose than how you started. Going in now with the white face paint and again just looking right off this little sheet here from the Huda palette. The white and like I said here there's really no right way or wrong way to do it. Just do it. 
I'm just gonna go on with a little bit of shadow, eyeshadow, just to shade a little bit, and that looks pretty good. That was a quick darn rose. So I'm gonna show you two. I wanna show you now with a little stencil. I'm gonna pop that guy, like maybe right here and here or something, and then I need a larger one here. I don't like using stencils that much, but come out a little bit funny. Right, I'm gonna try to put this down with eyeshadow because I feel like that will work a little bit better. So I'm just using, it's just a pink eyeshadow here, and let me see, I'm gonna just, Put this, where do I want to put it? Maybe right here by my eyebrow? Oh, I can't see with this lash on. So I'm just holding it right here and now I'm just taking the shadow. Okay, this will be good. Sometimes I use a sponge with the paint, but it's not good. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. So that gives you the general outline. And to me, this looks exactly like the one that we just drew. Um, I'll just go in and play around with that as well. So this is what I mean. So mostly I can, I know in my picture, I'm gonna kind of just be posing more like this to the side. So I don't really, sometimes I really don't do this side that well if I know I'm gonna be posing like this. So I know that, but I wanna show you, see I had too much water on my brush right here and look at how I tried to use the stencil and it just turns out to be a big mess. So sometimes you have to have a perfect amount on your brush or it can end up like that. And then you're just wasting your time. because so you have to go back in and fix it anyway. So you should have just, you know, done it yourself. I still think mine looks good right now. And at this point, I'm just taking the white and I'm almost just like scribbling here, guys. Like, I'm just following the little pattern, see here? And really, it's really quick. I'm just kind of laying these colors down. It's not really perfect, but this side, like I said, I'm not really seeing this side, so I don't really care about it. Um, but I have to do a little bit because I'm posing like this then we're gonna see a little bit on this side So I guess a little trick from me to you if you see any of my photos where I'm kind of my head is kind of tipped like this Just know that this side is probably not done. So I lied here I said I was gonna go back in with some eyeshadow, but no, I'm not I'm just gonna keep it with the paint and Yeah, just those are the only colors you need really just um, a red pink and a white and then you can go in and you can make any type of shade you want because you can make it a little bit darker a little bit lighter and so on do you guys like drawing i like drawing roses but the best thing i like to draw is kind of like characters like little cartoony things because i feel like you can just do so much stuff with it let me know if you like drawing flowers what's your favorite type to draw roses are my favorite because they're so easy to draw like i said you can kind of almost just scribble and it turns out pretty darn cool in the end I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you did learn something. Let me know if you did. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Okay, actually, guys, so I went in. I did. I put a few more flowers just right here on my forehead, and then I did slip this ring on and a little ring here, and I think this brings the look together a lot more. Oh, I need to brush this wig. But yeah, that's it. So 